Stand up, please. Do a 360 for everybody. He is wearing the official Mission Sunday tie. And so if you have not seen the official Mission Sunday tie, today is Mission Day. <clears throat> That, uh, that goes back into the safe vault after uh, 12 o'clock this afternoon. It'll reappear next year once again. But no, welcome. Uh, today is Mission Sunday. We got a lot of great things planned for you today. But first I'd like to tell you, if you do have little infants with you, right back here there's a nursery. Just go out the doors, turn to the right, and it's right there for you. You can hear everything that goes on throughout the whole worship. Also, later in the uh, service, Today, our children, three years old through kindergarten only, only the preschoolers, three years old through kindergarten, will be dismissed to have their worship. All the rest of the kids will stay in here uh, to be with us during the service, as well as our Spanish brethren. They will be in here as well today. Um, you're going to meet a gentleman in a little while, and I'm not going to introduce him right now because uh, Tom will do a fantastic job with that in a little while. But you guys are in for a treat today. You're going to see a gentleman today, and you're not only going to hear and see him, but you're going to hear the heart, I believe, of this gentleman. For those of you that are in your service, you know what I mean. You're hearing and you'll see his heart speak to you today and speak to you about some great things. And if you've met him so far... You know he's a neat guy. I met him, and I've only met him this morning, but I can see the heart of this gentleman. So I'm really excited this afternoon to hear his message, and you're really in for a treat. If you want, there are blue cards in the uh, bulletin. If you'd go ahead and take those out, fill them out, put them in the plate as they come by. Put them in the plate as they come by. Uh, we'd be happy to collect that so we can have a record of you. And uh, at this time, if you would please uh, go ahead and turn your cell phones off if you haven't done so. We'd greatly appreciate that. I know our speaker will appreciate that this morning. Thank you. Let's sing. Seeking the lost, yes, kindly and true. Wonders on the mountain astray. Come unto me, Lord's message repeating. Words of the Master speaking today. Going afar upon the mountain. Bringing the wonder back again. Into the fold. Oh, my Redeemer, Jesus, the Lamb for sin slain. Seeking the lost and pointing to Jesus, souls that are weak and hearts that are strong, leading them forth in ways of salvation, showing the path to life evermore. Going afar upon the mountain, bringing the wild hunter back again into the fold of my Redeemer, Jesus the Lamb, and for sinners slain. Thus I will go on missions of mercy, following Christ from day unto day, cheering the faith and raising the fallen, pointing the lost to Jesus the way, going afar upon the mountain, bringing the wild back again into the fold of my Redeemer Jesus the Lamb and the sinner slain You know, for our next song here, uh, those of you that have been down to the uh, uh, City of Children, 
Um, it seems like most of the time when we go down there, and I've been down there three, four, five times, but they love to sing this song so much. And it's really cool because, you know, we're singing in English, they're singing in Spanish, and it's just all mixing together. It, it's really cool. Those of you who have been down there and have been a part of that know exactly what I'm talking about. It's really, really a special thing. So we'll sing this song before our opening prayers this morning. <coughs> There's a message trailing that. Oh. Hang on a second. That's about 100 pages back. I'm still stuck on that cool scene you guys were doing earlier. And there's a call comes ringing all the restless waves Send the light, send the light and There are souls to rescue, there are souls to save Send the light, send the light, send the light The blessed gospel light, let it shine From shore to shore, send the light the gospel light, let it shine forevermore. We have heard the Macedonian call today. Send the light, send the light. And the golden offering at the cross we lay. Send the light, send the light, send the light. The blessed gospel light, let it shine from shore to shore. Send the light, the blessed gospel light, let it shine forevermore. Let us not grow weary in the work of love. Send the light, send the light. Let us gather jewels for a crown above. Send the light, send the light, send the light. The blessed gospel light, let it shine from shore to shore. Send the light, the blessed gospel light, let it shine forevermore. Señor, te pedimos que este día, Señor, bendigas a toda esta familia, Señor, en toda la parte de la tierra, Padre. Te pedimos tus bendiciones para cada uno de nosotros, para este momento, Señor, que tenemos solo para agradarte, Señor, para glorificar tu nombre, Padre. Te damos gracias por cada una de las bendiciones que nos das cada día y te pedimos que bendigas este momento, esta reunión hoy día, Señor, que estamos aquí presentes, haciendo reunirnos para glorificar y alabar tu nombre, Santo Padre. Una vez más, te pedimos tus bendiciones y tu compañía, Señor, y sé tú quien dirija nuestras vidas y reines en nuestros corazones, Señor. Te pedimos una vez más también que sanes a todos los hermanos enfermos, a todos los que están en necesidad, Señor. Nuestra hermana Carmen que está en problemas eh, con sus papeles en este momento también, Señor. Te, te pedimos por ella para que podamos tenerla junto con nosotros una vez más. Te damos gracias también por la hermana Tula que está de vuelta, Señor, sana. Sabemos que tu, tu mano poderosa tuvo mucho que ver en esto, en su sanidad, Señor, porque tú eres el único que da sanidad. Te pedimos también por, eh, para que hablen nuestras mentes y corazones y nos llevemos algo de ti este día, Señor, y podamos compartir con todo aquel que esté junto a nosotros, Señor, porque sabemos que todo, todos somos tus hijos, Padre. Te agradecemos y damos gracias infinitas en nombre de tu amado Hijo Jesús. Amen. Father, this is a beautiful day that you've given to us, and for that we are grateful. We thank you, Father, for our being able to gather here together as a family. We thank you, Father, for this time that you've given us to sing praises to you, to offer prayers to you, and to worship you, Father. For only you are worthy. We ask you, Father, to, to bless all that we do in this congregation, that we may strengthen your world, your heaven, your kingdom here on earth. 
Father, we ask you to bless our ties together as we share in our worship and our praise with our uh, fellow Christians in Mexico. Father, we, we know that our, our governments build walls to try and separate us, but we, we know, Father, that in you there are no walls. And someday that uh, we will all be together and praise you as we should. We ask you, Father, to continually bless the, the leaders of this congregation, that they move us forward and do everything that you would have us to do. Father, let us serve you with all of our hearts and with all of our minds. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. The scripture reading in the Mission Sunday program has been changed. The real scripture reading is Isaiah 55, verses 8 through 13. I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. This is good. <clears throat> my thoughts are completely different from your thoughts, says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. The rain and snow come down from the heavens and stay on the ground to water the earth. They cause the grain to grow, producing seed for the farmer and bread for the hungry. It is the same with my word. I send it out, and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to, and it will prosper everywhere I send it. You will live in joy and peace. The mountains and hills will burst forth into song, and the trees of the field will clap their hands. For once there were thorns, cypress trees will grow. Where briars grew, myrtles will spring out. The miracle will bring great honor to the Lord's name. It will be an everlasting sign of his power and love. Amen? <clears throat> Please be seated. 
So we're here to celebrate Mission Sunday and the mission work that goes on. Um, oh, Jeff, it's great to see you guys. We're here to celebrate that, and we're also here to honor it, the mission work that goes on around the world. And at this time, we're getting ready to partake in the communion, and you know, we have an example of the greatest missionary that ever walked the face of the earth. That was Jesus Christ. You know, he had a mission. Jesus had a mission. And it was God's plan that he come to this and do exactly what he did. Not by chance. He didn't just make it. He didn't stumble onto it. He did exactly what was supposed to happen. Because that was God's plan and that was Jesus' mission. And so this morning we're getting ready to partake of this. And we ask the question, why did Jesus come to earth? Why did my Savior come to earth? Well, look around you. Why did my Savior come to earth and to the humble go? Why did he choose our lowly birth? Because he loved me so. life for me, for me, because he loved me so. Why did he drink the bitter cup of sorrow, pain, and woe? Why on the cross be lifted up? life for me, for me, because he loved me so. Till Jesus comes, I'll sing his praise, and then to glory go. Take of communion. We, as part of our worship service, we've gathered together as the early Christians did, and we have this time when we can worship God and sing praises to Him, and we're here to, to praise Him, worship Him, give Him all the glory. And like the early church, uh, we were commanded to go into all the world, but we're also commanded to do what we're about to do in remembrance of Christ and what He had done for us. And so, uh, if you'll bow with me, we'll give a uh, prayer for the, the bread. Dear Heavenly Father, we're so thankful that we can call you our Father and that you sent your Son that we may be able to enjoy eternal life with you. We ask that you 
blessed this bread, which to us represents Christ's body that he willingly gave that we may have forgiveness of sins. We ask you to uh, bless us as we partake of this. In Jesus' name, amen. As we continue, just as with the Passover, uh, God's people needed the blood for that lamb offering in order for the angel of death to pass over him. Jesus, as the perfect lamb, shed his blood that we can have forgiveness of our sins and would wash them away. And we'd be whiter than snow. So if you'll bow with me, please, as we take of the fruit of the vine. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless this fruit of the vine, which to us as Christians represents the blood of Christ, which was shed that we would have forgiveness of sins and be able to present ourselves to you with, without stain or blemish. We ask that you bless this, which to us is Christ's blood, and uh, as we partake of it. In Jesus' name, amen. This part of our service, we get to experience the joy of giving and the blessings that we receive from that. Have you ever tried to outgive God? Don't think it'll work. It was all his to begin with, and he's given it to us. And uh, we've been told, Give and will be given unto you, a full measure, pressed down, shaken, until it overflows. And I was a little bit paraphrased by husband, so that wasn't a direct quote. But we have an opportunity to do that. Uh, we have examples in the Bible of, of people giving out of their poverty, and we have wealth. We need to uh, give as, as we've been prospered and, and as you've purposed in your heart. If you'll bow with me as we pray for our offering. Dear Heavenly Father, again, we're, we're humbled to be able to come to you, and we ask that you continue to watch over and, and bless us as a, as a family and congregation. We ask that you bless this gift that we're about to, to give and that it will be put to good use to further your, your work. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Three years old through kindergarten will be the 
Mr. Smith and our Spanish brother will be staying with us this morning. Uh, help me get out of this. Let's all stand as we sing this next great song. Anywhere with Jesus I can safely go. Anywhere he leads me in this world below. Anywhere without him dearest choice would fade. Anywhere with Jesus I am not afraid. Anywhere, anywhere, fear I cannot know. Anywhere with Jesus I can safely go. Anywhere with Jesus I am not alone. Other friends may fail me, he is still my own. No, his hand may lead me over dreariest ways. Anywhere with Jesus is a house of praise. Anywhere, anywhere, fear I cannot know. Anywhere with Jesus I can safely go. Anywhere with Jesus I can go to sleep. When the darkening shadows round about me creep. Knowing I shall wake and never more to roam. Anywhere with Jesus will be home sweet home. Anywhere, anywhere, fear I cannot know. Anywhere with Jesus I can safely go. Please be seated, and if you'd like to, mark in your songbooks the song number 290. Song number 290 will be the song after the lesson. <clears throat> Good morning. Good to see everyone this morning. I have a special guest speaker here this morning with us. Stan Jones is here with his wife, April. April, if you could stand up, we'll embarrass you one more time so they know who you are. Welcome. Glad to have you. <clears throat> Chuck and April just uh, arrived at the City of Children, and uh, I don't even know if they even got unpacked and headed up to Pepperdine. We're up at the lecture ships there. Uh, but when they leave here, they'll be settling in a little more at the City of Children, assisting Stan and Carol. Um, Chuck's going to bring us a message, as I said, but you wonder, well, what is the qualifications of a couple to come to the City of Children and assist Stan and Carol? And I can tell you that uh, if you've been there with us and you've seen uh, the children and the needs and uh, the special type of person it takes to, uh, to be there day in and day out and uh, deal with those needs and uh, there are issues, there are problems that they have to deal with also and uh, you just have to have a tender heart, uh, a willingness to serve and uh, to be sacrificial and they are those type of people and I hope that uh, after his lesson uh, during the fellowship and uh, the food that you can take the time to come over to their table and introduce yourself to them and get to know them a little bit. Sam, come preach the word for us. Stand. I'm not Stan, I'm Chuck, excuse me. I have Stan on the brain here. Stan might be better. Thank you for having us. It's great to be here. We have looked forward to this for about three months since Dick and Shirley got in touch with us and asked us if we would come and be with you on Mission Sunday. We've heard so much about you through the years, through Stan and Carol and all the people involved at the City of Children and Baja Missions, and it's just a great time to be here and, uh, and to share a, a message with you and, um, and, and just tell you a little bit about what's going on and, and talk to you about mission work. In case you, you haven't noticed already, uh, I'm not from around here. Um, I will try to speak slowly for you all. And, um, April's not from around here either. Uh, long, long ago in a state far, far away called Tennessee, we grew up. That's way over there. That's like go to San Bernardino and keep on going. Right? It's a long way. We drove across the country to get here, uh, spent a few weeks, and, uh, but we grew up in Tennessee, and uh, we went to the University of Tennessee, go Vols. Um, when we were, uh, got married, we moved to New York. We spent three years there. It took us three years to come to our senses and realize that there were places where you didn't get seven and a half feet of snow each year. We had lived there before, so we moved back to the southeast, to the Carolinas. We spent um, the last 18 years in the Carolinas. 16 of those years, whoa, I'm 
I'm going to talk loud here, 16 of those years in Charlotte with the um, Providence Road Church of Christ, where um, we were fortunate to serve on the ministry team. Um, April and I was worship minister and, and uh, served with uh, one of your own, Jeff Walling, who made the uh, trip in the other direction. Uh, at Pepperdine, we saw Jeff and Kathleen, they're very dear friends of ours. And, um,